Hey guys, so today I am here to do a tutorial, an anti-Valentine's Day tutorial, cause baby, I see you people out there hating and not appreciating. <laughs> this one's for all of you that are single and not ready to mingle cause we got makeup. <laughs> this is a look inspired by like, um, going to the grungy side by going all vampy with dark lips and really grungy eyes smoky warm tone eyes i feel like this look is like a good fuck you to all the haters all the makeup haters out there and all the exes out there goodbye we are better with makeup <laughs> so yeah today i just want to have some fun and get crazy with color and darkness all using this maybe right here i am so excited to share this with you if you are a longtime follower of my channel or on instagram you know that this palette right here is my holy grail ride or die eyeshadow palette. This has never let me down. The quality, consistency, and formula of Juvia's Place eyeshadows are my favorite. They are magnificent. So yesterday, Juvia's Place came out with a brand spanking new eyeshadow palette, but oh. <laughs> Who needs a partner when you got this? And I just felt like I had to do a tutorial focusing on this palette right here just to get the mood of this video started. This gold here goes for theirs. This pinky cranberry color here mm, goes for days. I just think you need some Juvia up in your life to like brighten everything up, especially around Valentine's Day. It's just time to play with makeup, forget about boyfriends, forget about girlfriends, forget about anything dramatic, and let's put the drama on our face. <laughs> All right, so for this anti-Valentine's Day makeup look, you wanna look as sexy, as hot, as makeup-licious as you can, baby. So I already went in prior to filming this video with the Milk, what is this called? Cooling water stick. And I apply this right underneath my eyes to deep puff and cool. Next, I'm gonna go in with this NYX CC cream in the color, color correcting, uh, it's the green one. And this is for light to medium skin tones. And I do this to kind of take care of the redness on my cheeks chin this got recommended to me by some followers so i bought it while i was in the states to finally try it out so let's see oh what oh my gosh the green transforms into a skin color that kind of absorbs into the skin and takes away the redness so I like how this is not just applying green to the skin. Usually with like green primers, I'm like, yeah, but you're putting green on your skin and that's gonna make you look ashy and dull. Hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. For my under eyes, I'm first gonna go in now with the Pure Identity Luxe Firming Eye Cream. And I saw this over at Mac Daddy's Snapchat and I love putting this on right before foundation and concealer and it just deep puffs and cools my under eye area dramatically plus i feel like concealer blends in with it so nicely like concealer looks so beautiful on top of this i've been really really loving this stuff it's amazing for foundation today i'm gonna try a brand new one i've never tried this before this is by nars it's the sheer glow in the color siberia Hello, coverage. Good morning. Holy shit. Whoa. Don't be fooled by the name of this. I thought sheer glow, so I thought it was going to be a more sheer finish foundation. I was wrong. Not that I mind, though. I love my coverage. I love my pancake. For concealer, Tarte's Shape Tape. And now setting my face to make sure my face lasts all day. Yes, honey, get your inner Patrick star. This right here is a primer that I will not name. It is the primer that will not be named. All 
All right, so let's go into the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm gonna go in with the color Katsina. I'm gonna blow up this color in the crease from left to right and up and down. And that's what she said. <laughs> And make sure you go all the way up to your inner crease, all the way to that bridge of your nose, and smoke and haze this out. Don't be afraid to blend this bad boy out. Now I'm gonna go into Jamila and deepen and warm up that crease even more. And I'm focusing this mainly in the crease, but also making sure I really blow and haze it out. And now going in with Sokoto to make it brighter and more vampy. For the lid, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite shades out of the entire palette called Fulla and just pat this from lash line to crease. And putting a little bit of Bororo on the outer lid. Going in with this Laura Geller Highlighter in Charming Pink for the brow bone. For the waterline, I'm now going in with this Jouer Slim Cream Eyeliner in Black, one of the best eyeliners for the waterline out there. And baby, make that waterline vengeance city, honey. Now with the black shadow from the palette, I'm gonna smoke that out and make it really grungy. Now mixing Chad, which is the black, and Jamila, and smoking this on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now go ahead and take Sokoto, that iconic coral red color, and smoke out that lower lash line even more. And to give that inner corner a pop, I'm adding Bororo. And as a finishing touch, highlighting my inner corner using that Laura Geller highlighter again. For lashes today, I'll be using my current favorites, Lily Lashes Lush. Alrighty, it's time for cheeks. It's time to show these bitches what they're missing out on. No, but honestly, I am living, living for these eyes. So I'm gonna keep up the game with my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with this little bad boy right here because I haven't been using this in a hot minute. This is Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder. This will forever and always be one of my all, 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 all time favorites. It's so good. And what else is really good is this brush to contour with. I am so glad that I finally trusted the people and tried out this technique because it is honestly, it has changed my contour game for the good. All right, now for blush, I want to keep it more on the, you know, pale, vampy side, but I also kind of really want to wear blush. So I'm going to go in with Dandelion Blush by Benefit and this brush right here. And we're just giving ourselves a little bit of blossom. And honey, this blush smells good. It smells like a spring day up in here. And to stay in the theme of this like beautifully pinky highlight we got going on, I'm gonna go back into that Laura Geller highlighter. I've been obsessed with this. And this Ofra fan brush, and I'm gonna gunk my brush up because baby, the glow is here to guide you. Oh, who gave Laura Geller the right to blind like this? Oh. All right, now I'm gonna set my face using the Milani Make It Last spray. And right before the spray has set, I go in with a little bit more highlighter because I wanna blind these haters out there.
All right, for lips today, the choice is absolutely up to you. You can literally do whatever you want with the lips. I am personally gonna go with a dark, dark, almost black red. Originally, I wanted to go for black, but I kind of feel like uh, that's gonna scare people away. And since my face in general kind of scares people away already, I kind of wanted to go softer, so I went for a, a red black instead of a, a, a regular black. So I'm gonna go in with this Ofra liquid lipstick in the color Harlem. A certain someone is looking like the Grinch again. And by the power of a wig, this concludes this anti-Valentine's Day red, grungy, smoky eyes and dark, vampy lips. I hope you enjoyed! For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or at NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I I want to thank you so much for watching this video again. If you are single or anti-Valentine's Day, baby, I am right there with you. I am not anti-Valentine's Day, but like I, I get the feeling because I've been, I've been single all my life until I found Rick. Rick saved the day on this one. <laughs> so I just want to thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and hopefully I will see you on the next one.